Why are we ready? All right, MP Managing and Production here with Varials. So the name Varials, how'd you guys get it? Well, I play. I was in college and I was like, "Fuck well, college." <laughs> Dropped out of college, started a band, and this kid Jared was like, "His name is Varials," and I was like, "Word, really has no meaning. It's just a skateboard trick." <laughs> and oh. <laughs> so how long you guys been a band because there's been like a lot of hype your name's getting out everywhere and this is like a lot of news about burials just everywhere now well, we've been a band for two years then we got this guy like the second year and yeah it'll in like in like a week it'll be one year since i joined the band and like your sound someone checking you guys out for the first time they hear your name or they're going to your show what should they expect and what should they expect like when they watch you guys live philadelphia style ducky style philadelphia style oh. <laughs> just just really aggressive uh yeah just heavy philly shit and all right i know not all your bands here at the moment but this is a question i always ask bands who would you consider is like the most craziest person the one that keeps you guys together and then like the one that no one listens to at all he yeah. definitely is the one that keeps us all together i think there's definitely other people though that tries to say something we're just like nah, dude. <laughs> but i'm the band dad basically with mike definitely <laughs> and is there just one of you guys that you guys just don't listen to? The one that you guys just pick on, like that clown that you guys just look at and you just like put your head down? I, all right, I would say. I mean, everybody's like, looking at him right now. Uh, all right, uh, listen. James. Uh, yeah, I would say like we we're all really good at shit talking, so we'll like disperse it evenly for the most part. But as soon as one of us like kind of fucks up, then it's just like I got a clip full of ammo like coming at your <laughs> neck, like, and then we just roast the shit out of that person. So I mean, it's pretty. Yeah, I mean, we love roasting the fuck out of each other, so, <laughs> so if there's anything we're good at, it's definitely that. <laughs> and on Twitter. And on Twitter, come at us on Twitter. We'll Strawberry right track. Back. And then, I'm going to ask you, because everybody asks you guys every day, so you guys are famous, obviously, for you know what, what happened that day? <laughs> uh, do you want me to explain? You got it? I'll explain the first part, I guess. So, I booked our EP release show for Federal Control. I put a lot of sick bands on it. A lot of people came out, and our friend Ducky was like, I'm gonna get naked and uppercut everyone. And we were like, dude, <laughs> no you're not. And we were shooting a video, he's like, yeah I am. And all of a sudden, we're playing Savage, and I see him do it, and I'm like, god damn it, dude. <laughs> there, there was a moment, like, when we're playing Savage, and I walk to the right side of the seat, or to the right side of the set, and I see Ducky looking at me, and he's just got like this look in his eye. And then he looks at me and I just shake my head and I walk back to the other side and as soon as I come back I like see him undressing. Like it was like that fast. He, he, he came fully prepared. And then the next no, day we tweeted at Lamb Goat like hey we have a naked dude moshing and they were like send us it and then for some reason it blew up and we got our EP heard. That's all we really care about. <laughs> Definitely. Definitely got pretty far. You guys been on like on random like shows like Rob Deerdick. I know you guys have been all over YouTube. That blew up really quick overnight. And then I guess another thing, because your shows get really, really intense. Like, how do you guys feel about people going ape shit? I know there has to be like a couple of fights or some bullshit happens. Like, how do you guys feel about that? Uh, fighting is a hundred and ten percent different than crowd killing and moshing. And if if you can't, it's 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 hard to decipher just because like. I mean, yes, like, if you've been yeah. doing it for a while, you can tell. But yeah. for like a new eye, someone is looking in, like they would never know. Like, exactly. The like yeah. we want kids to go crazy. We want them to yeah. express themselves yeah. however they see fit during our our set. Yes, we would prefer it's more aggressive, more violent nature. But like fighting is 100, 110 percent different. Just because like if you if you look at the video of Ducky moshing naked, he uppercuts like nine kids <laughs> and no fights start. And every single time we play failure to the hometown crowd, like it's just. Fun. a beating and yeah. like and it's we're all friends and you get hit you suck it up you hit somebody else it's just yeah. one of those things we're like the new guys i know way back in the day people went way harder than we here at will because we're kind of soft these days but like it's where we grew up i've watched my friends whip ass ever since i was playing in bands in ninth grade i adapted to it but i know there's kids out there different scenes well different <coughs> views on crowd killing but we don't care what you do at our show as long as you have fun. Yeah. And just don't fight. <laughs> but if it happens, squash it and it's all good. Yeah. There's been a couple of shows recently that we played where a fight is broken out and they fucked it out and then the show kept going. Yeah. So. 
Yeah. So, is, sorry. This one. So, how'd you guys think of your experience here, and what'd you think of this spot? And like, is this your first time at Mass or no? No. It's our third time. I thought it was really sick because the Casey Strain Lively was from here. So, I was stoked to play just to say I played at that venue. And the show is pretty cool. Yeah, I was, I was very pleased. Um, this was the first time for a lot of people seeing us and a lot of kids I've never seen before knew the words. So that was very humbling. Yeah. So I guess lastly is, do you have anything else you guys want anybody watching the video to know? Come to Philadelphia and get your fucking ass whooped. Check out Illusionist, Jesus Peace, Kanashi, Vicious Embrace, Past Hope. Anybody from the fucking Northeast is sick, so check them out. East Coast on top, baby. <laughs> All right, thank you guys for watching.